A shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. God, I can't see this shit more from the police. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. You can drive. Parker and Green are going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. Phelps, back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. When you're ready to another have day, a conversation. Another... Well maintained custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. must have cost more than the trumpet. He kept his stash close at hand. We should follow up on the musician angle. from what's left in circulation.
Army surplus again. The Goldrick must have been moving contraband through the club. A dozen packs to a carton, a hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. Check on the serial numbers. This guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city... Try to crack the safe. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Come on, you can tell me. You're behind the wheel. 